Hi everyone and welcome to another Flutter app development video. Guys, in this video, I will give you a short overview of Dart programming language. So if you are uh, familiar with another language like Java, JavaScript, uh, C++, so it will be easy to you. Uh, it will be easy for you to adopt this uh, syntax and uh, to learn the Dart programming language. And in this video, I will uh, only tell you about the basics and all the things which we will be using in this series. So if you want me to create a detailed course on Dart programming language, a separate course on Dart programming language, so let me know in the comment section. So let's start our video and as you can see here we will use the Dart pad and you need to open your browser and just simply search for Dart pad. Okay and the first website uh, you have to open it and this is the official dart uh, uh, dart dart dev official website so you can uh, write dart code here and you can also run it here uh, this is our console and this is the documentation so let's start uh, our video and uh, as you can see here uh, we have uh, some uh, pre-made code uh, uh, here and this is a for loop so if i click on run so it will uh, it will run this code and uh, it says hello five times so this is the for loop and i will just simply remove it from here and uh, this is our main function our main method okay so if you are uh, from the javascript or uh, java or kotlin so you will easily uh, understand the dart programming language and if you are new to programming so i will recommend you to uh, please learn the basic of dart programming language it will be easy for you okay so uh, we will start uh, from the variables and every programming language we have uh, uh, different type uh, types of variables so in the dart programming language we have uh, variables like string integer uh, boolean or float so i will start from integer so to declare a variable we need we need to uh, write the variable name like int and we will just simply this is the variable name age and i will simply assign a value of 24 and i will add a semicolon so this is our age variable and this is the integer type and the string will be a string name and simply i will simply call it coding coding exist okay and i will add the semicolon let me zoom out here and this this two uh, these two are our variable and let me uh, create a new variable uh, boolean so uh, in the dart uh, if you want to create a boolean uh, boolean uh, variable so you need to type bool and i will just name it uh, is raining okay and i will just uh, simply assign a value of false because there is no raining so uh, if you want to print these uh, variables so you just need to uh, type print and we will simply print our name first and then our age okay and then raining the rain a boolean variable so i will just simply when it is raining okay and i will add the semicolon and now we will run it so as you can see here the first one is name this is our channel name this is the age and this is uh, the boolean value so if i change it to true then it will change it to true it will be true now okay so uh, that's how we can create and print variables in our dart programming language so uh, if you want to change this uh, variable data type on the runtime so if i change the name to if i assign a integer value to my name like 12 so it will give us an error as you can see here in the documentation we have an error a value of type integer cannot be assigned to a variable of type string so we cannot assign integer to string or we cannot assign a string no sorry uh, yes a string to uh, integer so if i change the data type or value of h and i will and i want to uh, and i try to assign uh, my name here like hilal so as you can see here we have another error and the error say a value type uh, a value of type string cannot be assigned to a variable type of integer so if you want to change the variable uh, type on runtime in your dart programming so you need to uh, create your variable name with dynamic 
So I will just simply remove this and to create a dynamic variable just simply type dynamic 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 and I will uh, name it like uh, my where so I will assign a string value here like uh, my name Elal Ahmed okay and if I print here uh, name uh, sorry my where and if I print it so it will print the Hilal uh, my name Hilal Ahmed okay now if I want to if I try to change the uh, value of my where the above declare variable so I need to assign it to my age like 24 and now if I run this program so it will print the integer value 24 as you can see here uh, we have uh, in the first line we are assigning a string value but uh, in the second line we are assigned a um, integer value if I assign a boolean value here so we can use it it will it will uh, it will print the false okay so this is the dynamic variable and I will not recommend uh, to use this uh, dynamic variables in your production level application or your production level software because at some point it will cause uh, some type of error so it will crash your application okay uh, after this uh, we need to know about uh, functions okay so as you can see here this is uh, a main function this is a void this is the type of function and this is the name of function and this is the body of function um, inside this curly braces so the void type of function uh, doesn't return anything so uh, if we want if we try to return something from here like return 12 so it will give us an error that a void type of function does not return anything so uh, I will simply create a function outside like uh, this uh, function and I will name it my function and I will simply print a line that it is function okay and I will simply add the semicolon and here if I want to use this function I just simply call it I will simply call it like this my function and semicolon and if i run this so it will print this line it is function okay so now if you want to return anything from here or anything from this function let's suppose you you want to return a string or your name from here so you need to uh, declare this function as a string and now uh, we will return return and we can return something like uh, this is my name okay and now if we assign a variable to this so we will assign a string variable like name is equal to my function and my function is returning my name so if I run this okay uh, we need to print this out sorry for this we need to print our name after assigning it or function so if I click on run so it is printing my name Hilal Ahmed okay and if you have a function like a one line function or if you are returning one line so you don't need this curly braces in the dot we can use a single line function like this I will just simply remove this curly braces and I will simply remove this return and I will simply add an arrow like this now if I if I run this so it will be same okay no errors so uh, if you have a single line to return then you can use functions like this if I change it to integer and uh, now as you can see here we have an error we cannot uh, return string from integer function and now uh, we will change it to integer okay and if I run this so it will print 12 as this is our integer value so this is all about function in uh, some programming language calls it a method so i hope you understand it and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section okay so now if we uh, goes ahead so we have a list okay list and we can declare a list like uh, here like this list 
and I will simply call it to names okay names and I will assign values like uh, uh, names this these are all will be string values come on okay and uh, rod and I will simply add a semicolon and I will print this list like names okay and I will simply run this program and as you can see here we have our list here now if you want to add something in your list like if you want to add another name so you can add like this add and you can add like this I will add Daniel okay I will just simply add a semicolon and if I run this so now as uh, you will see that we have another member of list and now if you want to add something like uh, 34 okay and uh, want to run it so as you can see here these all are strings and this one is integer so to prevent this you need to assign uh, you need to give a type of uh, a type to the list so to give a type to your list and uh, you simply uh, use this uh, smaller than size and if you want it to be a string list so you can simply type string and now it will uh, indicate an error here that you cannot add the integer so if i run it as you can see here the argument type it cannot be assigned to names okay so if i change it to something like uh, if i change it to string so it will now act like as a string so it will add it because it is a string now okay so if you want to remove a value from list so you can use remove and i will simply type my name and if i click this run so now our list has two members come run in moral i i remove my name from here if you want uh, integer type list so you can simply uh, call it integer if you want it to be a string so if you uh, you call it strings okay so after list uh, we have classes in our dart programming languages okay so to declare a class simply type class and user and uh, curly braces and this is our class okay now this user will have some uh, properties like uh, name so it will be string name okay name equal to i will call it this time calling this and it will be an age and the age will be 24 and this user also have a method like uh, is live now we will print it is live okay but the problem is if we want to access these properties we need to create the object of this user so to create the object of this user we need to declare the type of um, object and the type of object is user it is our class and we will name it user1 equal to user okay and uh, user and we will add a semicolon and here if we if you want to print the user one name like user one name okay so you can print it if i click run so it will print the coding this okay now if you want to print this uh, method so you need to call user one and is live okay and it will print coding this it is live we are accessing this method so now the problem is uh, we have static values like name and age and if we are um, making an application uh, or for user or for employees so every user doesn't have same age or doesn't have same name so here we can use the constructor so to use a constructor or to create a constructor of this class the, the constructor will be the same name as a class and we will simply uh, i will just simply 
bring it here and I will remove the static values from name and age okay and I will simply remove this one and now the name and age are only variables it doesn't have a value so I will just simply call this dot name okay and this dot age okay and now if in the main uh, in the main method uh, if you want to create an object of this class so uh, here uh, the class uh, constructor says the compiler says that uh, two positional arguments expected but zero found so we need to assign name and age to this user uh, when we when we are creating the object of that user so we need to assign name like uh, coding this and the age will be same as 24 and now if I run this so it will it will run it and uh, so remove this and I will print the age here okay and now if I run this so it will print the name and age like this okay now if you want to create another user so we need to create uh, another object user too and we will simply call it user and now we will give a name like halal and the age will be 25 and now we will simply print this and copy paste it here but we will change this user1 to user2 okay now if I click run so we have two users the first one is coding this and the second one is lal so that is uh, how you can use uh, classes and objects so if you want a detailed tutorial on dart programming language so let me know in the comment section and that's it for this video guys uh, all these thing uh, we have covered in this video we will be using in the upcoming videos so please uh, note it down and please do some practice uh, because we have a free dart pad here and i will just simply uh, add the dart pad link in the description so you can use it for your practice on dart programming language so if you are new to my channel so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos